Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are fine. Today in this video I am going to share with you a uh, singular and plural uh, and uh, I am going to discuss with you about um, collective nouns. With collective nouns we ignore to place s. Okay. This this uh, concept I am going to share with you. Okay. Let us start. We have um, we have some incorrect sentence, sentences as well as they have their correction uh, also. So first one is the sheep are grazing in the field. Uh, sheep is used as uh, as a singular as well as plural because sheep is a collective noun. So we we do not need to put s along with sheep. Okay, so our correct answer will be the sheep are grazing in the field. We do not place s along with sheep. The sheep are grazing in the field. Okay, this is done. Next one is here. Uh, here are two pairs of shoes. Uh, pairs a pair describe uh, both or plural sense it gives plural sense so we need to ignore uh, putting s along with pair we will uh, write or we will uh, speak the sentence or translate the sentence in this way here are two pair of shoes okay pair we are not going to place s with pair okay next we have another example i bought three dozens eggs dozens uh, dozens is used for two things for more than things okay so uh, we do not use s along with dozen i bought three dozen eggs either we are going to use three or more than numbers uh, 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 to describe dozen but ignore to place s with dozen okay i bought three dozen eggs last example we have here this quote cost me five thousand rupees we mostly did common mistake we place s along with thousand uh, uh, we should ignore to place s along with thousand okay so simply whenever you are going to use or describe about um, money uh, do not uh, place s uh, with the thousand okay this quote cost me five thousand rupees uh, i hope students you uh, you would like this video so don't ignore to subscribe my channel thank Thank you so much.